So this might sound a little bit toxic, but what if we, what if we just started robbing men? Oh, you need to stay off that crack, man. Get out. Like the guys who ask if you want to come over on the first date, what if you just took a couple things from their house? Then they'll start asking women on dates so they could see if the woman is a robber. Hey man, we must be going back into the stone age, bro. It's a whole lot of Neanderthal behavior going on right now. Just very, very low intelligent behavior going on right now. How is this a good idea? Now here's the thing, right? I know something about a lot of women who come from my community. A lot of y'all like to deal with the little pookies and the ray rays, right? You rob one of them, that boy gonna cancel Christmas on you. That's all I'm gonna say. It might not be the best idea because especially these new dudes, these new dudes don't even have a code of conduct. They believe in women, kids, elderly people, puppies, goldfish, hamsters, you name it, bruh. Anybody could get it. It's on site. So you might not want to do this, bruh, especially if you dealing with them type of men, which a lot of y'all are. It's not in your best interest to play these crackhead games, man, just because a dude won't take you on a date. You cannot be this desperate. It's an evil world we live in, but hey, I'm going to keep living. Yeah, this is not a good idea for y'all, bro. These women are so arrogant, bro. This is crazy. How do you be this arrogant, man? I hope whoever dating her see this, cut her ass off. You know what's so funny? Why my boo thing randomly called me in the middle of the night, and I'm like tired. Answer the phone like, what? He like started questioning me like, do you, do you mess with this boy? <laughs> but I don't mess with the boy, so I'm like, no. Like, you're crazy, dude. And so he's like, oh, okay. Hangs up in my face, right? Go back to sleep. Wake up. I'm blocked on everything. I'm like, damn, what the heck? So I get to call him up, no call ID. It's not an answer. And I go to Instagram, he blocked me. <laughs> then I go to my, my spam account, he blocked that. Then, bitch, I decide to go look at his account off my mama, off my mama account. He blocked my mama too. What the fuck? What the fuck? Whole time, I don't even mess with this dude that he talking about. Like, he's crazy. No, he didn't block my mother. <laughs> Everything he said about you probably true. You probably are messing with that guy, right? Because you have a spam account. First of all, any woman that got, well, I think a lot of y'all have spam accounts, so y'all can stalk y'all exes and stuff like that. But either way it go, that's a big, huge red flag. He got to cut you off. You got to go. I thought about you guys a lot. I said, the married people stuck at home. I want to be like them. I envy these guys. Some of you don't even dress yourselves anymore. <laughs> you just wear the next clean shirt. I want that. <laughs> then I'm like, where do you go to find this wife? You can go to clubs or bars. I don't like going to nightclubs. Nightclubs are filled with single mothers and liars. <laughs> There's a lot of single mothers in the club and overall single mothers are doing a good job, but the world is crazy and you need to wait a while before you introduce these guys you dating to your kids. I went out with this single mother two times I'm at work, the school called me to come pick up her son. <laughs> you can't put my name on the list to come pick up your son. I only seen this dude two times in the dark at your house. <laughs> they wear uniforms now, they got the same little haircut. I might pick up the wrong kid. Now this dude is on my backseat wheezing. I don't need that. I don't <laughs> First of all, you're disrespecting me by having your whole body exposed to the world. Big facts. How? I what do you mean, how? What? Your body is sacred feel, to me, like, correct? I feel like that's subjective. My body, no. Yeah, I feel like that every man don't feel the same way. What about your father? Would he would he care if your mother was out there with the share nipples out and ass out? My dad got a dress made for my mother, and it's like a gold chain dress, and he she's worn it with him before, and he... He wants to show his woman off. A few moments later. Call your father to ask him that question. I'll call him right now. <laughs> Papa, question. I'm on the podcast. So if mommy was outside and she had on like a sheer top or like a sheer dress, do you feel like you have a say in what mommy should be wearing? Yes, I do have a, a say hmm. because you're not walking out anywhere with me. <laughs> Two, she would be really popular with the guys if she had an outfit like that. <laughs> right. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Send this to someone who needs it. Hold this L. Nah, man, that's dead. I love how Shawty called her daddy talking about some would you diss that in the third and that man shut that down so it lets you know how quick they be willing to lie to try to prove a point. I know somebody who did it. I know somebody who currently does it. There's always an example, but we, nobody ever calls them out on that, right? And I'm glad these brothers at the Daily Wrap Up crew did it, man. Shout out to them boys.
Guys, it's important to hit that gym, man. It's going to make you look better. It's going to make you feel better. Your confidence is going to go up. You're going to get the woman you want more than likely, especially if you work on the mental aspect of it, too. You got your money in order. You got your health in order, your body right, your dress nice, right? You're reading books that's putting you on game about things. You're investing. You're doing all of this stuff. You're becoming that 1% man that all these women seem to want. Right, you become that guy, and watch how easier your life becomes. You're gonna be able to pick women who actually got something to lose because a lot of y'all dating women who have absolutely nothing to lose. And when you're dealing with a man or a woman that ain't got nothing to lose, you is playing the game that you're ultimately going to lose, bro. You don't want to deal with those type of women. I promise you. You don't want to hang out with men who don't got nothing to lose, and you don't want to go up against men who don't got nothing to lose. We all trying to win here, right? Stay away from those people. Apply these tips in this video to your life and I can't say your shit going to be perfect, but it's going to be better than it is today if you're not already doing these things. Random thought. There are wives in unhappy marriages, not because the marriage is bad, but because the marriage is not the fairy tale that they dreamt of. So I remember this one day I was, I feel like I was in D.C. and this guy hit on me, right? So. Um, he came up to me. He was like, hey, what's up? You married? I'm gonna try to talk like a DC guy. Well, no, I'm not because they sound crazy. Um, no offense to all my DC fam. But um, he said, hey, you married? And I was like, yes. And he said, you happy? He said it like that. Like it was like a drop the mic. He was like, you happy? And I was like, no, and? <laughs> and the reason why I said no was because one, I'm brutally honest. And two, I was not happy at the time. But what does me being unhappy have to do with whether or not you have a shot? Here's the thing I realized. A lot of married people don't know how to be unhappily married and still not walk away. If you could learn how to be unhappy for a minute, your marriage will last. Because the goal in marriage is not happiness. The goal is to build a lasting relationship that withstands um, the, up, the ebbs and flows of marriage, of relationships, of people. And so some of y'all need to learn how to be unhappily married and still be content and still stay right where you are. Just because I might not be happy right now does not mean I won't get happy later. Learn how to be unhappily married. Guys, let me tell y'all something, bro. Women are more likely to be unhappy in a relationship and leave than a man being unhappy in a relationship and leave. I know a lot of men who are just not fully uh, happy in their relationships, but they don't have any intentions of leaving or going anywhere, right? Because they're sacrificing everything so that the woman can be happy. But once they don't have nothing left to give, the woman is unhappy and she gonna get the hell on. That's what happens pretty much every single time. They don't have that staying power, that strength to endure the rocky times when it ain't all happy, it ain't all peachy and cupcakes and stuff, right? And it reminds me of something that literally happened to me yesterday. I was having a conversation yesterday with a guy who is literally the same age as me. He is going through a divorce right now and he's already messing with a new female. And what, then the female was around too and we got on the subject of prenups and she was like, I ain't signing no prenup, I don't believe in them. And I just looked at this brother like, boy, you don't have a clue, your stupid ass gonna end up going through the same damn thing how are you the same age as me and you ain't got it up here like that i just it's beyond me bro and they was all lovey-dovey He like yeah she different she just not like them other girls what about her saying i don't want to sign a prenup sounds different than other girls what i gave this man the biggest side eye i ever could give him bro i'm like bro and she's a unicorn to you okay yeah good luck with that one my boy